they're married, they hike, and they listen to the dead. So welcome to an episode of Two Trailheads. Good morning. We're leaving Mount Laguna and we're just getting on the trail and this is what we see. I'm not sure if you could really see the beauty that, that we see, but all I know is it's kind of hard to get out of town when you've got all the creature comforts. But then when you come out here and see that glorious view. You remember why we're out here. We got this, right, Craig? Yeah. The views today just took my breath away. Like I was overcome with joy at about 9.30 a.m. And then all day long we had this amazing view. Just look. And now we're camped right here. What'd we do today, Chris? Hiked about 12 and a half miles out of Mount Laguna. Now we're, I don't know, about a third of the way to Julian. We got 12 mile day tomorrow, and then we'll be to Julian on the next day. And uh, we're kind of alone here out, quiet sight, beautiful view, a little exposed, but we got sun protection. It was so weird, nobody was on the trail today. It was very quiet. We had it to ourselves like, probably 98% of the time. So, I don't know, it's weird. It's because we hike so fast. It's so true. Good morning from day six. Good morning. Look at this glory. Oh my God. Sun's coming up. It's coming up at six, like 43. And we're all packed up. I think our Packing up system is getting more efficient. It's taking less than an hour. Um, we're learning. We're learning. And so we're going to go trek 12 miles. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. That's love right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's got my back. Yeah. Just getting going here on day six and I'm feeling tired. <laughs> A little warmer already than it has been. Really looking forward to getting to Julian tomorrow. Tomorrow's town day. And then we have a zero. We're gonna chill out, eat some good food. All I had last night were like micro naps. Because <laughs> we decided not to use our inflatable mattresses. And we won't do that again. Probably not. Probably not. Um, micro naps to fuel a 12 mile hike. No bueno. So, yay for Julian! Tomorrow. Here we, here we come.
9.45 a.m. on day six. And we're taking a break. I had to get these tootsies out of those shoes. We've gone like five and a half miles and I needed a little break. Chris is um, cold, getting his stuff ready to cold soap for our lunch. Um, what's on the menu, Chris? Uh, pesto, ramen with veggies, bone broth powder, and buffalo chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, like a complicated flavor profile. Quick check-in. It's hot and we're dying. It's like a lot of downhill. Uh, let me show you. It doesn't even do it justice, and I can't show you for long because it's, it's treacher, treacherous. Here it is coming to life. Your concoction, Southwest chicken. There's buffalo chicken. Oh wait, buffalo chicken with ramen that has pesto sauce in it and bone broth. We'll see. Buffalo and pesto. <laughs> All right, how's the concoction? Mm. <laughs> it's Gourmet. not that good. Gourmet. <laughs> to the right there and then back to the left all the way down into that ravine and then climbed all the way back up around this corner right to here. afternoon we've got how many miles like 8.8 .8? that's something like that I think we've gone about 8.8 .8 miles and it's been brutal hot exposed ridges <sighs> so as you can tell from my face we are really burning up we found a tiny little spot with some shade and we're trying to figure out we could camp here but we're trying to figure out do we take a little siesta and rest here until the sun goes down and then go 2.7 miles more to a place that has water? And that probably makes the most sense, but my feet are barking. <laughs> from day seven morning we didn't do a recap last night because we went 16.3 miles which is our longest mileage yet and it was rugged it was all up and over and up and over and up and over and around these mountains here look at that glorious so we got here kind of late um, we've been using a strategy of taking dirt naps really just means a little bit of an extended break where you take your shoes off and lay down um, and then you get back up and do it again so we did that several times yesterday and it served us well we we got a lot closer to Julian which is our mission today it's an actual town with a grocery store and a post office and all kinds of things so we are looking forward to it what are you looking forward to most uh, sleeping in the bed Yep, sleeping in a bed. Speaking of sleeping, be probably because we did all of that mileage, I slept through the night for the first time since we got on trail. <sighs> 
It's glorious. Now I'm ready to do it. We got six point something miles going, oh, I don't know if you can tell, but going up, up, up. Um, and we're gonna get to Julian and get to town partying. Thank you. 